Car exhaust drug craze alarms Congo's capital. A story by Benoit Nuemba. A two-minute read. Sounds pretty fishy to me. Let's take a closer look. So, apparently there's some sort of a drug craze going on in Africa, in Congo in particular. Uh, it appears that people are, at least according to these news, um, stealing car catalyzers, crushing them and mixing them with other kinds of drugs to produce some kind of a new super drug called bomb, bomba, bombay, I don't know. Anyways, um, let's take a look what's going on. Here's a video. In an abandoned shack in Congo's capital Kinshasa, people are mixing a new form of narcotic derived from a car engine. <laughs> This is Bombay. It's made by mixing exhaust residue from a car's catalytic converter with pharmaceuticals like diazepam. Experts say it can cause users to stand motionless for hours or sleep for days. Hmm. Cedric is a gang leader here. It makes them feel good and slows them down, he tells us so they don't go stealing or causing problems. Before we knew that Bombay existed, we used to drink very strong whiskey made by Indians. Okay, so they seem to be drinking whiskey beforehand and now they've turned to Bomba or whatever it is uh, called. Apparently, that's better. We were agitated and we started to hurt people. But with Bombay, it calms you down. You get tired. You stay somewhere standing up or sitting down for a very long time. When you're done, you go home without bothering anyone. But the authorities are less relaxed. In August, police rounded up and paraded nearly 100 alleged dealers and users of Bombay, which means powerful in the Lingala language. They also displayed buckets full of the honeycomb exhaust filters that are crushed to make Bombay. Okay, so there was the claim that uh, these thieves are actually crushing the car exhaust uh, catalyzers um, and uh, crushing those and mixing them with other drugs to produce this a new uh, super drug that is preferable to whiskey and makes people uh, able to stand still for long amounts of time or whatever. So, yeah, that's where the story is coming from, apparently. Mechanics in the Congolese capital blame spiking demand for the drug for a rash of thefts. Chasori Kodogo says five to ten clients come to him every day having had their catalytic converter stolen. So people are going to a mechanic uh, complaining that their catalytic converters are stolen and there's a obvious correlation between these thefts and this so-called new super drug. Obviously, if you need catalyzers for producing the drug, there's a clear connection. Often when clients come to the shop, we check underneath the car and the catalyzer is gone already. It's been cut off and the car will make a strange sound. Here in Kinshasa, we don't sell catalyzers for vehicles, so we have to order in Europe. It's expensive. This one is lucky. He still has his catalyzer. Users mix the crushed ceramic honeycomb, which is coated in metals such as platinum, with pills or smoke it with tobacco. But Dandi Yela Yolemba, country director for the World Federation Against Drugs, says nothing is known about the long-term effects. And then we have an expert saying that he knows nothing of the long-term effects of uh, ingesting uh, crushed ceramics with uh, metals like uh, platinum or rhodium. <laughs> That's probably true. There are substances made to be used in engine, in cars. 
So we have food, we have things to take for our body. We do not have to take substances from cars, made for cars and start taking. He warned that the metals used in catalytic converters can cause cancer. The fear is, he said, that the consequences for a person's body will become apparent in the coming weeks and months. To my knowledge, there are absolutely no psychoactive components in uh, catalytic converters, uh, or there, there is no simple chemical reaction that would occur by combining a pulverized uh, converter with another drug. Typically, chemical reactions don't happen in solid state. Well, that's not always the case, but for this case, I think it's pretty clear there's not a chemical reaction happening. So to me, it's quite clear that they're actually taking some sort of a drug, but the connection with the car catalyzers doesn't make that much sense. And in fact, if you look at the videos closely, you can see that there is really no point where they actually show how they crush these catalyzers and how they mix it with the drug. These clips are always containing like uh, powders or being crushed or mixed together, but they don't really show taking a car catalyzer and turning it into a powder. And that could be one thing. And really, these catalyzers do contain uh, precious metals like platinum, and their value it can actually be quite high. So these Catalyzers can often be sold for hundreds of dollars. Indeed, thefts of car catalyzers are nothing new uh, with the uh, prices of precious metals being pretty high. I think there's been a somewhat of an epidemic of catalyzer thefts around the world, really. So, so the connection of catalyzers to a drug seems to be a new thing, but I think it's most likely uh, not a real connection. So I think it's much more probable that these thieves are actually selling the car catalyzers to, to fund their operations and to fund maybe their drug use, rather than they are stealing the catalyzers to create a new mystical drug. Well, I don't know. Maybe they are, but I can't think of any reason why that would be the case. Leave a comment down below if you actually know that there's a... A mystical, mystical drug being created by mixing catalyzers with, with these uh, prescription drugs. <laughs> so I think uh, that's pretty much the uh, end of this really quick uh, reaction or commentary uh, on this funny story from, from Reuters uh, Africa. Uh, yeah, uh, remember to subscribe, press like if you like this, uh, and uh, stay tuned for future neuropharmacology content. Thank you for watching and until uh, next time.